Okay, so, what is amoeboid movement? You might have guessed by the name that it is amoeba-like movement. How amoeboid movements occur? Well, the cell generates false feet for its movement so that it can move forward. These false feet are known as pseudopodium. Pseudopodium is a small projection that protrudes outside the cell. So, this is the first step, that pseudopodium is formed in the cell. The next step is the attachment of actin proteins near the pseudopodium membrane. These actin proteins are simply floating in the cytoplasm and attach themselves to pseudopodium. In the next step, the cell binds with the receptors of tissues. This happens because a cell needs ground to walk just like our feet. Then, the cell pushes itself forward and starts moving toward the direction where the pseudopodium was formed. So, two effects are involved in the amoeboid movement. Number one is the attachment of pseudopodium. Number two is the collection of actin filaments around pseudopodium. There are three types of amoeboid motions. Crawling motion, where the attachment of pseudopodium with surrounding tissue is tight. This motion is really fast. Gliding motion, where the attachment of pseudopodium with surrounding tissue is loose. This motion is a bit slower. And swimming motion, where pseudopodium generates force to move without any tight or loose attachment. This motion is the slowest of all. To remind this, keep a mnemonic in mind. The amoeba likes to swim slow, glide fast, and crawl faster. Amoeba means amoeboid motions. Swim slow means swimming motion is slow. Glide fast means gliding motion is fast. And crawl means crawling motion is faster. There are several types of cells in that body that perform amoeboid movement. The first one is the movement of white blood cells. when the white blood cells move out of the blood into tissues. So, the white blood cells travel from the bloodstream to tissues to form tissue macrophages. Whenever you get an injury, fibroblasts move toward the damaged area in order to repair the damage. When you get a cut and the skin is getting repaired, the germinal cells move toward the area of the cut for skin regeneration. The other cells that show amoeboid movement are the cells of the embryo and fetus. During development of embryo, embryonic cells migrate from their site of origin to new areas. Even cancerous cells, for example, Sarcoma, which happens from connective tissue abnormality, follow amoeboid movements. Rapid multiplication of cells occurs called metastasis. You can remember about these cells with an easy mnemonic. The amoeba likes white flowers and green eggs cake. White means white blood cells. Flowers mean fibroblasts. Green means germinal cells. Eggs mean embryo. Cake means cancer cells. Now lastly, how this amoeboid locomotion is controlled. This motion is controlled by a process called chemotaxis. 
Chemotaxis is the movement caused due to a stimulus. When a stimulus is there for example an injury, several substances are released known as chemotactic substances. The cells move toward chemotactic substances through amoeboid movement. This happens due to formation of pseudopodium and its medical term would be pseudopodial intrusions. There are two types of chemotaxis. One is positive chemotaxis. It is the movement of cells from a lower concentration to a higher concentration. The other one is negative chemotaxis. It is the movement of cells from a higher concentration to a lower concentration. These were some important topics to discuss in amoeboid movements. We discussed. What is amoeboid movements? Then we discussed mechanism of amoeboid movements. After that some types of amoeboid motion. Then some cells that perform amoeboid movements. And lastly the control of amoeboid movements through chemotaxis. Now let me explain the ciliary movements in the next section. Have you ever heard of video books? Scotia.com is delighted to present video books, medical books that have been tailored into a series of videos. Scotia.com videos are presented in the same order as the book's chapters. Explore now and make your learning easy.